A wireless tire pressure monitoring system is something that's becoming more and more standard in cars, but is not very common in motorcycles unless you're spending a lot of money for a high-end motorcycle with high-end electronics. But if you have an older motorcycle or a newer motorcycle without tire pressure monitoring, you can get this aftermarket system. This is something I think would be important if you live in an area that has a lot of temperature fluctuations and your tires might lose pressure, or if you happen to be an off-road or ADV rider, you never know if you hit a small stone and cause an air leak. With this system, you can know your real-time tire pressure without having to check it all the time. So let's take a look at the product. This is the Psykick Rider SRTP300 Tire Pressure Monitoring System. I bought this for $54.95 on Amazon, and given the low price, I'm really not sure what to expect, but we'll see together how good it is. So in this package, it has a little sleeve. I'll show you what's inside since it's a little more involved. But inside the package, inside this box, it's quite a bit of components. Now, instruction manuals here, we'll talk about that later. And then in the package, you get the actual display, which you mount on your handlebars, installation tools, mounting bracket, another little mounting bracket, and some extra batteries. These are the actual transducers that are going to go onto your valve stems. So let's read how to install it and put it on and see how it does. Something important that they note, please turn on the monitor first and then install the sensors. Otherwise, there's not going to be a display. And then five to 10 minutes of driving should show the pressure. So yeah, we might have to take a little ride together. So yeah, let's see how it works. Installation on this actually looks very simple. It has a mounting bracket for your handlebars like this. And they also provided a piece of rubber if it's needed as a spacer and to prevent scratching. So I'll probably put mine right here on the left side like that. And I'll cut this piece of rubber to size to space it better. All right, now I have my little piece of rubber cut to size, so let's give this a shot here. So I'll go around here. Yeah, I think that will be good. Just put a little more vertically so I can actually see the display. All right, it's going now. Now we can get the back side as well. It's nice that they provide the Allen key so we can tighten this up. I'm not gonna tighten it all the way just to see what kind of clearance we have here. So you can move this a little bit over, just make sure to avoid any of your reservoirs here. Just shimmy it over. All right, and that should work. So let me just tighten everything down and mount this. All right, now that that's tightened, we can attach the display. And again, they provide a little screw and washer that attaches from the back. All right, I think that looks pretty reasonable. So let's now attach the tire portion. I already turned the monitor on like they recommended in the instructions. Now it's time to install the actual sensors. You can see here that there's a rear and a forward one. So I'll start with the rear and then the forward one I'll do off camera to save some time. With these, they recommend using a locking nut that's provided so that these don't fall off while you're riding. So let's install that first and then the sensor after. All right, super easy. And then we just tighten the locking nut back towards it so it doesn't come off. And they even provide a little wrench for that. Nice and easy. So I'll do the same with the forward and we'll see how it works. This is how they look when they're mounted. Very sleek and not obtrusive. Same thing in the front. You can see it doesn't interfere with the disc or the braking system whatsoever. This is what the monitor looks like and it's blinking zero because the instruction said I need to ride for five or ten minutes. So let me put on some gear and put on my little Insta360 and we'll go for a little ride. So it looks like the rear tire already is showing me a pressure of 35. So let's see if the front tire activates at some point. Let's go for a ride. The tire pressure actually came up much sooner than the five, 10 minutes that they cited. It showed up about one minute into this ride. All right, we 
are back. So as you saw from the ride, it picked up the tire pressures very quickly. The front tire showing 33, which is almost exactly what we pumped it up to, and the rear tire showing 36, also very similar to what we got in the beginning of the video. It's also really cool. It shows you the, the temperature of the tires with the front showing 50 degrees Fahrenheit and the back showing 54 degrees Fahrenheit. My temperature gauge on the Ducati is showing me 54 degrees Fahrenheit. So again, very consistent. Overall, I'm impressed with these little gadgets. The price, the size, the convenience are really fantastic. I'm really impressed by this tire pressure monitoring system. For $55, it is very inexpensive and provides high quality results. I can't talk about the long-term longevity of it. I can't tell you about if it's waterproof, how it handles in the rain, but for the time being, after first install, it is showing me consistent tire pressures and consistent temperatures. And for that, I think it could potentially be a very good product long-term. So if you have one of these as well, let me know in the comments and hopefully this video was helpful.